Hey, good morning, guys. This is John Phillips. It's uh, Tuesday morning, 26th of July. Uh, I'm sitting out here in front of this job with the sewer problem, and I'm, I was hoping to run into the other plumbing company so that we could uh, compare notes and uh, try to resolve this issue, but um, I thought they were going to be here at 8 o'clock, uh, they're not here so I'm just gonna take off I have to go um, gotta gotta go to a lady's house and she's having an issue with her three handle old style either a Kohler or or Gerber uh, tub and shower valve it's got a hot on the left the diverter in the middle and the cold on the right sends the water up to the sh the diverter diverts the water up to the shower head or down to the spout uh, I do have rebuild kits for Gerber, and I think that's what it is. From what I could see, the discussion in the middle was missing in the picture she sent me, and it looks like a Gerber style. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get that uh, fixed. I just, you know, I've got stuff for Kohler, and I have stuff for Gerber, but if it's something else, I'm not going to have the parts, and I'm just going to tell her. You know it's easier to replace the whole thing you know put a single handle valve in there I go with the Moen Posi temp they do sell a plate uh, single plate instead of those jiffy flanges or whatever the hell they they were called uh, repair flange with the with the brackets on the back Moen makes one now that just screws right into the valve body which makes it a really easy uh, job and uh, we'll see what happens when we get out there. Hopefully I'll be able to just repair that valve. Um, changing out a shower valve and a tile wall, unless you get access from the back, can be a pain in the ass, you know? Uh, so anyways, that's where I'm heading. Hopefully today will be a good day. I've got plenty of fresh towels to wipe my brow and uh, yeah, I've got water. I just bought a case of water. I've got boost in case I feel like taking a shit. You know, shit in my pants. Feeling a little melancholy about that. I haven't done that in, hell, at least two, three weeks. Now that I have my porta potty. But, uh, yeah. I'm a master at TMI. Too much information. Some of the shit I shouldn't be sharing with you. It is kind of personal, you know, but it's shit. We all we just need to talk about it, man. That's all I'm telling you. It's so, you feel so much lighter after you shit your pants and talk about it, you know. I don't know. It's almost medicinal, you know, or therapeutic. Try it. You might fucking like it. Just make sure you're close to a hose bib. With some bushes uh yeah anyways i'm i'm a little off track i'm gonna head on out now see ya all right guys so i'm here to work on this three handle valve somebody's already been here and stripped out every screw so probably gonna have to drill that out but we'll see So, I gotta drill this one out. That was easy. It's hot So they have these aftermarket uh, handle kits on this. It's an Allen wrench. Need to take that off.
<clears throat> Somebody's already replaced the diverter. So, and this thing's just junk. It's like somebody replaced the, the coal too, but they, they couldn't get the hot out most likely. Tool. All right, so I got my tub tool, tub sockets. Just replace the gasket. I need to. You really need to check the stems. I mean the seat. Yeah, the seat's in really good condition. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. The seat's good. I do have a whole kit for Gerber. It's got everything handles. So I'm going to put the handles on here and the uh, hot stem, and that's it. Make sure you get that Teflon seal in there. So these are the seats they just thread in and what I do is I put a little Teflon tape on this just to make sure these threads don't leak and you don't get water leaking by and then that just sits in like that as you tighten this valve down make sure you always replace this gasket and the main thing is to make sure you get the old one out because they're white and they're very hard to see so Definitely pays to take a second look and make sure it's not in there. want to make sure this valve is backed out all the way you don't want to try to tighten it in like that you got to pull it all the way back I don't want to over 
tighten things because you can you can always tighten them up but you can't once you break something What I was checking for is to make sure there's no water coming out of this. The packing. I also want to take a look in the back to make sure there's no water dripping from where you put the stem in. So she's all set here. She's got all new cartridges. Okay. <clears throat> These are threaded. So these discussions have a little set screw right here. And you just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Get that guy started in there.
what I like to do is back this out a little bit, push this in, tighten it up from the top. And then just turn this in so it, it snugs it up. Oops, that didn't work. Basically, you don't want to see these. Okay, that's tight. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm the noisy plumber. Those universal handle kits, they never work right. Obviously, if, if these, this, the rest of this was bad, you'd replace everything, including the seats, you know, for a total rebuild, but it's not necessary here. Normally very slow. Okay, I just want to check it. Yeah. How's it looking then? It's good. You're all set. I put it together. Yeah. Awesome. I put no handles because mm -hmm. the ones that were on there were no good. Okay. Oh. So it's not. It's not going to be anything, or is it still going to be anything like that? No, it won't. Work. Yeah. Okay. No, it's all brand new in there. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, you're good. That's the test. If you can take a shower without the water backing up, you're yeah. good. 
Yeah. Okay, so now if you, if you turn it off, nothing will come up on that. No. Right? Because that, that was the problem. That was the problem before that. This was bad yeah. the gasket. Look. Yeah. This was the. Can't find it. But the gas, there was no gasket on this stem, the old one. There was no gasket there? No, let me show you this. There's no gasket. So it's like supposed to have like a rubber, rubber, rubber piece. Rubber gasket, 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 like this. <clears throat> that's what you had. So that's it's the original one that came with the house. Yes, you know, and somebody, they couldn't, they replaced everything else uh -huh. but this because they couldn't get the handle off. Oh. Okay. So I drilled the handle out. Okay. And I replaced this for you. So everything's new. Okay. You got the the correct handles on here. And just don't don't be cranking too hard on Not these. Not too much. Yeah, be, so you know, we, you'll see a little drip because now the pipe's draining. Oh, that's what it is. But it will stop, right? It definitely will stop. Okay. All right. Okay. The seats are in good shape. Everything's good. Okay. All right. How much do I owe you? Uh, five hundred and seventy-two dollars, and I give you uh, I don't know, five dollars off. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a lot of money. You're like, holy shit, man! Get out of my house. <laughs> so I call the cops should on you. Should have asked ahead of time for for how much it would be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me uh, let me get cleaned up and figure out how much okay. I got in this. Okay. Is is check gonna be okay? Yes. Okay. That's all I take, check or cash, so. Alright, that's it. It's a done deal. New handles, new stem on the hot side. Everything's, I typed up the packing on all three, so we're good. She's happy. Alright, here you are. I'm done at this job, rebuilding a three-handle Gerber tub and shower valve. Um, you know, she didn't want to pay for a total rebuild, but you know, that's fine. She already had two new stems in there. If it was, if they were all old, I would have replaced all of them, but they were new. Somebody stripped the screw on the handle and that's most likely why they didn't replace the other one. And I was able to just drill that out, uh, and put a whole new handle kit on there. But I want to I want to state that you know this I want to tell you I got an ad on Craigslist. It it cost me five dollars a month, and the people there are a lot of people in the world who don't they want to support a small business, uh, you know, a very small shop. They don't want to they don't want to call a company that spends a million dollars a year on advertising, and every time they come to your house, it's somebody different. So. My advice to anybody who's either running a business or um, planning on going into business, a very simple way to advertise is Craigslist in your area. You put a nice ad and uh, the main thing is to do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to be there at 10 o'clock, be there at 10 o'clock, maybe a little earlier or if there's going to be a problem getting there communicate with them also the the benefit of craigslist is i just earned a new customer she had no idea who i was i showed up i'm professional looking uh, my truck is well equipped i went in i did the job it was very clean i was polite i showed her she didn't know how to shut the water off to our house she thought the water meter was the only uh, way to do that and I found the main shut off on the house and I showed her how to do that so in the event you know she's got a, an emergency in this house she's not out in the middle of the night trying to dig up a meter box that the sod is overgrown so that's a good some good advice free run an ad in Craigslist services in your area and do what you say you're gonna do be neat be clean leave the place cleaner than you found it and uh, be very polite you know people like that and friendly so I'm I gave her probably five business cards and I guarantee you she's gonna tell her friends so uh, anyways that's how you build a business my friends and over time you know if you pick up one two three four new customers a week 
in a year's time that's a that's a nice bunch of people you know they may not call you for another five years but uh, that's my advice to you so I'm all done here uh, it's a nice little house very nice lady and um, yeah I'm happy I could help her so have a great day this is John Phillips checking out and uh, just in closing I didn't even have to poop my pants today <laughs> see ya look at this fucking truck man That fucking truck is so tiny, you literally could pull that truck up inside of my truck in the back. I don't know how the fuck you work out of shit like that, to be honest with you. Oh, Mr. Hazel Barker. Must be a little man. Fucking. Must be a little person. With little wrenches. <laughs>